Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to make a simple but reliable device that works with infrared thermal energy. This homemade tool isn't just a fun project. It's durable, safe, and can actually be used for professional electronics work, especially when you need precise, contactless soldering. Let's start with the handle. For comfort, I'm using a wooden piece that fits nicely in the hand. Carve shallow grooves along its length to place the wires neatly. Now we'll build the heating element. We'll take apart a 12 volt car lighter and remove the coil inside. This coil is our infrared heating element and it will become the core of our soldering iron. Next, we'll build the current carrying supports. For this, I'm using two large steel paper clips. Why steel? Because it has low thermal conductivity. That means the heat won't travel quickly up the metal to your hand. Bend the clips into wire form and make rings on the ends. These rings will hold the infrared coil firmly in place while also carrying current to it. Adjust the heating element's contacts for compact positioning, then insulate them with heat shrink tubing to prevent short circuits. On the wire ends, attach terminal connectors. This makes it easier to plug in the power. Once that's done, secure the infrared heating element onto the handle using electrical tape or heat-resistant glue. Connect a DC power jack, and the soldering iron is ready. Now let's test it. I'm powering it with a 12 volts, 5 amperes power supply, but you could also use a car battery. When switched on, the coil instantly glows and begins emitting infrared heat. To demonstrate how powerful this is, let's bring a match close. Without even touching it, the infrared radiation ignites the match. That's the power of thermal energy in action. But the real magic is in soldering. Unlike a regular iron, this tool allows for contactless soldering of small components and circuit boards. That means you can heat precise spots without damaging nearby parts. It's especially useful for delicate electronics repair, like desoldering chips or working on sensitive circuits. Why is this important? Because infrared soldering is clean, efficient, and safe. And thanks to its simple construction, this DIY tool is strong enough for real-world, professional use. Ways to improve the design. Add a plastic or 3D printed case for better ergonomics. Integrate a power switch. Use a higher power supply for faster heating. Replace tape with heat-resistant brackets. Add a small LED power indicator. And there you go. A fully working infrared soldering iron built with simple materials but reliable enough for professional applications. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you'd like me to build a more advanced version with adjustable power. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.